The Tasmanian devil is the world's largest carnivorous marsupial and exists in the wild only on the island of Tasmania. Over the last 20 years, their population has crashed, dropping by 90% in some places, and this once abundant species is now endangered. You might think the usual suspects, hunting or habitat loss are to blame, but the prime suspects in this disappearance are something much more sinister. The Tasmanian devil suffers from not one, but two cancers with the remarkable ability to spread between animals. These cancers, called DFT1 and DFT2, spread when devils bite each other during mating and feeding, causing direct transmission of cancer cells from one animal to the next. These cells continue to grow in their new hosts, forming these large facial tumours, which are nearly always fatal. Tasmania's top predator now faces the real possibility of extinction, which could have wide-reaching consequences for the island's ecosystem. Stopping the spread of these cancers is a top priority, and one option being explored is a vaccine. To make a cancer vaccine, we have to know what cell type the cancer first mutated from, its cell type of origin. We can then compare this to the cancer to see what's different about the cancer cells. These differences are potential targets for the immune system, which could be used in a vaccine. DFT1 emerged from a nervous system cell about 20 years ago. DFT2 emerged much more recently, and we don't know its cell type of origin yet. This is where I come in. Part of my PhD has been to identify DFT2's cell type of origin, kick-starting this search for a vaccine target. By comparing DFT2 to DFT1, and looking at the proteins they both express, I've shown that DFT2 is more similar to DFT1 than to other devil cell types. Specifically, DFT2 expresses proteins from the nervous system. My data suggests that DFT2 emerged from a nervous system cell, just like DFT1. Contagious cancers are extremely rare in nature. Only eight have ever been described. So the independent appearance of two in a single species from a similar cell type in just 20 years is unprecedented. This might mean that devil nervous system cells are prone to mutations which can escape the immune system, raising serious concerns that more of these cancers could emerge. Given the devastating impact of DFT1 and 2, this poses a huge threat to the species and to the island. Understanding how these cancers can become contagious and crucially stopping their spread is essential if we want to stop the Tasmanian devil from disappearing forever.